It is day 29 and look how fancy the inside of our tent is. Just kidding. Um, we made it to an Airbnb and I'm showered and clean and our laundry is done. And we had cheeseburgers and waffle fries from the Norway Bar and Grill. Um, we kind of made our own little connecting route today. I can't remember if I've explained this before, but if I did, at least a little refresher. Um, the Ice Age Trail isn't fully complete. So the completed trail sections are called segments and they are all connected by connecting routes, which are typically roads. Um, and when you're doing the hikes, you don't have to take the su suggested connecting routes. Um, so today we were looking for a little bit of the comforts of home and trailed over here to the town of Scandinavia, which um, has a population of like 350 some, I think the sign said. Um, and it's just kind of an awesome little town and this is a great little apartment that we have um, right by a pizza place that sounds fantastic but of course is closed on Tuesdays but also next to the bar and grill and a bakery and then a place that has like Scandinavian treats and good coffee that we're going to hit up in the morning so that's awesome. Um, today my foot is doing better. Last night I put some triple antibiotic ointment and a band-aid on it and I refreshed it this morning. And they continued doing so, but we actually did pretty good today. Um, we had close to a 20 mile day, most of it on the road. Uh, we did go through the New Hope segment, which was beautiful. Uh, it was kind of in between both of our road walks. Unfortunately, part of that is closed due to flooding in the area. Um, so that kind of stinks because it was really beautiful. Just lots of tall, tall, beautiful trees in the forest um, and very well maintained trail. So. We enjoyed what we got to do. Um, the trail coordinator, Deb, picked us up at seven o'clock this morning and brought us grapes, which were delicious. We don't get a lot of fresh fruit and vegetables, so that was awesome. Um, we really did have a good day. We got here, I think about five o'clock, um, got all of our laundry done, showered, ate. Uh, can't ask for much more than that. We don't uh, require too many things to make us happy. So we're kind of on cloud nine right now. Um, tomorrow we are um, hoping to get to, I think it's called Hartman's Creek. Hartman's Creek, not creep. Um, campground. So I think it's a little bit shorter of a day, maybe 17 or 18. Um, and then we got a pretty big day ahead of that if we're um, up to it. So we will see. We're getting close to the bifurcation, um, which is a part of the trail that actually splits off and you get to choose what way you want to go. Um, we're choosing the western route um, that takes you over by the Wisconsin Dells and things like that. Um, but we're getting close to that part, so that's exciting. Oh, and we passed the 500 mile mark today. 500 miles. We've walked on our own two feet. Um, crazy. So definitely a good day. I am ready for bed, um, but we will check in tomorrow. I think we get a little bit more trail than road tomorrow, so maybe we'll actually get some on the trail videos. On the road, it's just too hard because cars pass and it's not very fun. So here's hoping for some more segments and actual trail videos tomorrow. Good night. Hello friends. It is day 30. And we are currently in the Hartman Creek State Park. Um, we are headed to the campground, which is where we are staying tonight. We have had a pretty good day. We kind of dinged around this morning on purpose. We wanted to check out the Scandy House, where we got coffee and Swedish pancakes with lingonberry jam. Um, which was a new experience for me. It was delicious. Uh, Swedish pancakes kind of reminded me of a giant crepe. Um, and the lingonberry jam was delicious. Uh, then we then went over to the Trout Bum Bakery <laughs> to get some snacks for later. Uh, we had second breakfast, which was like a cinnamon pecan roll, which was awesome. And then I have some strawberry mango blueberry scones still in my backpack. We're gonna have in the morning. So that was fun. Um, we did some road walking today and 
then got into the skunk forester segment, which was um, very well maintained, great segment. Had some hills with some challenges and some mixture of road walks in the middle and walking on farmland. So lots of different things we've been doing today. Um, as you can see, this segment is also very well maintained, which is why I got brave and decided to try and do a walking video. Hopefully I don't fall here. Um, but yeah, overall doing pretty good. Our feet are both kind of sore today. Um, I'm not sure because I haven't looked yet, but I suspect when I take off my shoes, my feet are going to be super swollen. Um, but such is the life. I will throw them up in the air on a picnic table and make people wonder what in the heck I'm doing, I'm sure, when we get to the campground. I believe there are showers, so that's exciting. And probably go ahead and get all the gross sweat off my body. It was definitely hotter today. We had to bust out our cooling rags again. We haven't had those out for a while. Um, so, yeah, overall, it's been a good day. We had a nice start with all sorts of goodies and just really enjoyed Scandinavia on our stop there. We ran into some ladies who were hiking, I believe. They called themselves Ladies Enjoying the Great Outdoors uh, Lego, um, which is awesome. Sorry if I botched that. I think that was what it was, though. Um, it was fun running into them. We still haven't seen a lot of hikers, and they had seen us posting a little bit on one of the um, Facebook groups for this trail, so that was really fun. Um, so we're trying to get to the campground right now because they have concessions that are open till 6. We don't really know what that means, but we hope it means like a cold soda at the very least. Uh, so we are trying to bust through here, get to that cold beverage and a shower. And I suspect a very early night because tomorrow we have like a 26 mile day. So I'm guessing we're going to get up pretty early. There's like a 15 mile road walk in there. Uh, so kind of rough in the sun, but we will make it work. And we will check in again later. Oops, <laughs> bye. Good morning, friends. It is day 32. Whoops, I missed a day. Um, yesterday we started out in Hartman Creek State Park again. Obviously, that's where we stayed. Um, but we did, uh, well, Marty did make it to the concessions. He pretty much ran um, and came back with two pints of ice cream and some cold pops and Gatorades and donuts. Um, so had a pretty good night there. That was a very nice campground. Um, so we finished up that segment yesterday morning and then went into the Emmons Creek segment. Both of them were beautiful. Um, had a few ups to get our hearts pumping, but beautifully maintained, very nice walks. Uh, after that, we had a 15 mile um, road walk and that was a 15 mile road walk. We did get to run into a couple of hikers on that, so that was awesome. There was a gentleman who was using his bike in his car to kind of knock out some miles on that a few at a time, so we would never know when he was gonna pass us and if he was gonna be walking or biking or driving his car. And he was rooting us on and we were rooting him on. And so that was us. Um, then we had another hiker named Emily that we ran into and she was kind enough to give us her number in case we needed an out later. <laughs> um, luckily we didn't, but she was doing part of the road walk and the deer field segment, which is what we came up to next. Also beautiful. Um, it's on private land, lots of pine forest, all that stuff that we love so much. After that, we had a little bit of a road walk to Boone Lake. Um, Gut Hooks had said that there might be some flooding and that they had had some problems, but that our feet should stay dry and our feet definitely stayed dry. So we were grateful for that. Um, and then we came out on the road and we're 26 and a half trail miles in, about 27 miles in with our hike from the last campground. 
and realized that we had about two miles to get to Tomorrowwood, which was the campground we were staying at last night. So that was a little rough mentally, physically. Um, it's just been a long day. And to top it off, it was lightly drizzling on us, nice cold rain. But we made it to camp and the owner there was amazing and told us right away who we could call to have pizza delivered and brought us cold sodas and waters and uh, drove us back to our site so we didn't have to walk back there but could be close to the nice bathrooms with showers. So I can't say enough about Tomorrow Wood. Wonderful campsite, wonderful owners. Very grateful for them. Uh, this morning we have um, a lot more trail today. See, we're in the woods. Um, it's going to be about a 20 mile day, we think. We are staying at the Coloma Motel and Pub this evening, so we have to get to a parking spot and we're hoping that we are able to get a ride. It's like two and a half miles off trail, which is like yesterday we learned was pretty rough at the end of a hiking day. Um, luckily today we only had 20 trail miles though, so that is better. Um, so we're both pretty tired. We discussed that at three o'clock this morning when we were awake. Um, Tired should mean you're sleeping, uh, but sometimes it just means you're laying there thinking about how tired and sore your body is. So I'll probably be taking a zero day in the next week or so. Uh, gotta listen to what our needs are. And right now our needs are some rest. So we will see and I gotta get back to it. Um, but hopefully we can check in later. Bye friends. Hello friends. It is day 33. Yesterday, we ended our day a little bit shorter than we planned. Um, our friend Emily that we ran into, uh, not yesterday, but the day before, and had given us her number, we ran into her again. Um, and once we knew that could be our ride into Coloma to avoid the extra road walk to get to the motel we were staying at, we went ahead and phoned a friend on that. Um, yesterday was really hard on us. It was 100% humidity. We were just tired, you know? So, Emily was awesome. Um, there were some storms predicted to come through about 2.30, so she was going the opposite direction of us, but she uh, came and met us, and pretty much as soon as we popped out of the woods, she pulled into the parking lot and took us over to Coloma. We weren't able to check into our hotel yet because no one was there. Um, but we went to the laundromat uh, where I realized how interesting our life is right now as we <laughs> stripped down into some of our clean clothes and threw all of our dirty stuff we had been wearing into the washer. Just hanging out at a rundown laundromat in the middle of nowhere. Uh, but our clothes were clean. We went to the Coloma Motel and Pub which was an awesome, quaint little place. I think it had uh, maybe 10 or 11 rooms. Um, very cool little spot. The owners were awesome. Uh, we took showers and were just about to go to dinner at the place they recommended, the Cabin Barn Grill, and it started downpouring. So we had a couple of drinks at the pub and had some good conversation with the owners and some of the folks in there. Uh, so that was nice and then we uh, got to go to dinner I think about 7.30 so got some lake perch it was fish fry, fish fry Friday um, so good times at the Coloma Motel and Pub and even more cool the owner's wife took us back to the trail this morning so that helped us avoid 4.1 miles of walking down a road just to get back to the trail, which is awesome. Um, yesterday we did, I know we did the Greenwood segment and the Meccan River, which is, we had to finish that up this morning, but beautiful segments, well maintained. Um, we were walking like out in between two cornfields uh, and like through a meadow that was in between them. So that was pretty cool. However, it was out in the sun and again, it was so hot. Uh, we were just moving really slow yesterday, so 
feeling a little bit better this morning. We're refreshed. Well, we have about 25 miles today to our next spot in Friendship, Wisconsin. Uh, we are trying to get these trail miles out of the way this morning and enjoy it um, because after that is like a 16 mile road walk. And if that, the weather holds true, it's gonna be a 16 mile road walk in the rain. Um, so just trying to enjoy this time while we're out in the forest because that's what we love most. Uh, but something super exciting. So our friends, Sunset and Chica, that we haven't got to meet yet, are taking a zero day today and they have their car and they're bringing us lunch and fuel for our stove because they went to a Walmart and could find it. We haven't had any luck. I um, mean, we were getting pretty low. So that is so awesome. And it will be a bright spot and otherwise dreary looking day. So we are so excited to meet them um, and just hang out for a minute, hopefully in the dry car. <laughs> um, so we do have some things to look forward to and we'll make the best of everything else. So gotta get to it. weather was right. It's rained. Um, pretty much since like 1030, but never super hard. Um, and with a few breaks, like right now. So we are fully geared up here. See? Ooh, rain skirt, rain jacket, umbrella handy. Um, it is been pretty cool all day, so I guess that's nice. And Chica and Sunsets came and brought us lunch and we get to eat in their car. And they brought us towels and pops and footlongs from Subway, which we shamelessly devoured um, very quickly in the back seat of their car, along with some cookies. They got us some chips too, which we took for a later snack, but as you can imagine, taking breaks in the rain is uh, a little challenging, so we haven't eaten since then. But we are about three miles out from our hotel for the night, and we have successfully skirted around a bunch of red storms, so that's cool. <laughs> There's some more coming, so we're trying to book it right now. Uh, feeling surprisingly good uh, for the day that it's been so far, and. Uh, she really got a huge boost from our visit with our friends. Uh, got to get to learn a little bit more about them and all that good stuff. So hanging in there, ready to be in uh, under a roof, I guess, um, out of the rain. Um, but we'll see how this last three miles goes and uh, hopefully swell. And a good night's sleep ahead. Alright, bye-bye. Hello friends. It is day 34. Um, last night, our last three miles were interesting. I would say the first two went pretty similar and then suddenly the rain started coming down hard and we had to put our umbrellas away because the wind was too strong. Um, so, Definitely an interesting end, um, but we made it to our motel um, and found a place to get some dinner delivered and um, we're definitely much more wet than we were the whole day at that point, but we were glad we weren't stuck somewhere trying to put up our tent in the rain because that would have been much less fun. Um, this morning when we woke up, it was still raining, pouring, storming. Um, and so we just kind of decided that instead of waiting to take a zero on Tuesday, which is kind of what we were planning, that we would probably go ahead and do that today. Um, took us a while to figure out what that was gonna look like, but we ended up just putting on our packs and 
walking down to a restaurant to have a real breakfast, which was fantastic because we've been eating lots of oatmeal and Pop-Tarts and, you know, just not a real breakfast. So that was great. Um, and then we were able to get a room at the Adams Inn Motel, which was about four miles away from where we stayed last night. Uh, Check-in wasn't until three. So while we were walking here, we stopped at a laundromat and general dollar and got food and did all the things we could do. Um, and then we stopped at the Jack Pine Saloon and had some appetizers and drinks. That was a really awesome little place. Uh, they had all sorts of stuff going on there. A drive through where you could pull up and get whatever you wanted, liquor, cheese, beer. I don't know, we didn't do the drive through obviously. We were on our feet, but it sounds like they have lots of bands there all the time and kind of a family run little thing and everyone was super friendly and interested in what we were doing and wished us well when we left. And uh, we've just been at the hotel relaxing. Um, good day to kind of recuperate, planned out our next days. Uh, definitely needed this break so we have spots reserved for the next couple of nights and ideas of how we're gonna keep on doing this so we will see how it goes we will check in tomorrow it's gonna be mostly road walks really and all day tomorrow and a lot of the day the next day and then we'll finally get back to some trail so we will check in when we can bye bye hello friends it is day 35. Uh, you're probably thinking we're pretty spoiled these days. I keep having these videos with clean hair and inside places. Um, we did about 24 miles on the road today. Um, we kind of realized yesterday when we were looking at our next few weeks that we are getting a little short on time. And one of the ways we could help with that is looking at all the connecting routes, which right now on the Western bifurcation, it's literally just like almost 80 miles of roadwalks until we get to the next trail section, which is called Baraboo. So we kind of decided yesterday that we were gonna make our own connecting route. Um, and we turned what would have been like a 30 plus mile day today into 24 and like another 30 plus mile day tomorrow into 18 because we know so far we haven't been very successful in doing those 30 plus days, especially two in a row. Um, so just trying to get to the next segment of actual trail and we will be able to do that sex successfully tomorrow. Um, so that is awesome. We had a really good day for a 24 mile day on the road. Started out a little dicey. Um, we were walking down kind of a main 55 mile an hour road. So made the morning interesting probably didn't actually need to drink any coffee because there was no way to be uh, tired and unalert on that road, but we made it work um, and survived, so that is good. Uh, then we got to move to some really backcountry roads, so that was really nice and relaxing, so not too bad. Um, definitely got pretty hot towards the end when we were walking into the Wisconsin Dells, but once we got here, we got some ice cream, so, that was great, and and we're in a big city, so we got DoorDash delivered to the hotel, so we didn't even have to leave to do that, and we had already done laundry yesterday, so really just kind of been relaxing since we got here. Uh, definitely looking forward to knockout. I think there's about 12 to 14 road miles tomorrow before we get to Baraboo, um, and we're staying at Devil's Lake State Park, and we have heard that that is a beautiful area, so looking forward to that. Bodies are feeling pretty good. Of course, our feet were tired when we got here, but overall, both of us were feeling uh, pretty impressed with the day and how we handled it. We got a little slower at the end, but it just started to kind of get warmer. Uh, so hanging in there and looking forward to Devil's Lake State Park tomorrow. Oh, and Baraboo, I've heard that's pretty busy as well. So we'll see you tomorrow.